testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to the second show of today, 3D Boxing uh, Law. He's back with another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, we're going to get into this heavyweight pay-per-view. Um, a, a little different than, than the things we've talked about in the past. Um, Luis Ortiz versus Charles Martin is a fine fight. It's it's not a terrible fight at all by any means. Um, but it's a pay-per-view. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, Share 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, All proceeds from that channel. Um, Go to uh, Autism Research and Recovery. Um, So please subscribe to that channel. It's near and dear to our hearts. So so let's – I'm sorry for the distraction. I'm trying to find the article. Let's get into – um, the Ortiz versus um, Charles Martin pay-per-view, which is – it's getting to be a lot, guys. The, 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 another $40 for this fight, and they tried to get you a couple weeks ago um, for the Javante Tank Davis fight. They have Byers versus Thurman coming up in February. Um, they're asking you for a lot of money. And it, 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 it's becoming not feasible for the average boxing fan. But how many people get the NBA package compared to how many basketball fans are there? Or the NFL package compared to how many uh, football fans are there? It's a very small number, right? Um, and that's going to cost you about three to $400 a year. Well, in just a couple of months, that's what um, – you know, the various boxing pay-per-views have cost you. Um, it's about $400 if you go back to October. So in about three months, they're asking you for $400 to, to watch your favorite sport. That's not reasonable by, by any standard. And, and Martin versus Ortiz isn't even that – it's not a bad fight. The card's not a bad card. But, like, in reality, if it, it, it's an FS1 card. Right. Yes, Charles Martin's a former heavyweight champ. I, I get it. Uh, he won a belt against a guy who broke his leg and then immediately got destroyed by Anthony Joshua in his first defense. Luis Ortiz was never a heavyweight champion. So you got one guy who won a belt and lost it, you know, won a belt against a hurt fighter and then lost it immediately. And you have another guy who was never a, t- a champ. And then you got a couple prospects, a couple decent fights on the undercard. There's an FS1 card. That, 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 that charging you 40 bucks for and it's just one after another and you know 400 bucks now in three months on top of what you're already paying it's like why am i keeping showtime why am i keeping any of these channels if they're just going to hit me with pay-per-views then you're going to have spencer ugas right you did this i don't know fury is coming back i don't know if that's going to be a pay-per-view it's just one after another, and it's mostly PBC. Now, there were Canelo fights, right? There's Canelo fight in there, um, and they hit you out for that. But it, it, asking for 80 bucks a month for pay-per-views is just not a sustainable model. Not in today's era, not in any era. You know, if it was two Tyson fights a year and one child this fight a year and then one was free on Showtime, that would be understandable, right? That, that's the old model. It's still not a good model. But it's not absurd. This is now hit to the point of absurd. It's not even entertaining. It's not even a good card anymore. Or like Tank Davis versus Isak Cruz or Rolly Romero, who was originally supposed to be, has no business being on pay-per-view. Keith Thurman versus Mario Barrios, no business being on pay-per-view. So this is kind of – we've gone too far now, right? And then they're going to complain when people stream the fight. But you've left them no choice because this is ridiculous. Forty dollars to watch a fight at night, and when it's not even a great fight, no, you know it's just not reasonable anymore. After you've just done it and done it and done it again, I'm not telling people to go stream the fight, but it's going to happen because you've created a black market 
for, for this by jacking up the price. Um, Luis Ortiz versus Charles Martin. It's two guys who are over the hill shot. And when and, and, and yeah, Charles Martin was technically the heavyweight champion, right? But you know, Luis Ortiz is gonna win, right? Um, there's some decent names on the undercard. This just isn't like why would anyone pay 40 bucks for this? If you if you disagree with me, leave your comments below on why you think this is worth 40 bucks, right? Like, how is this better than an NFL game? Or a bowl game, which is going to be up against. Right? It's going to be up against all the New Year's Day games. There's basketball on. Why would anyone pay 40 bucks for this? And this is just outrageous. I I, I, I can't see this. You know, 40 to 60,000 pay per view sales is what I think this will do, which means it brings in two to three million dollars in revenue. You could do that auctioning off memorabilia. If you need the money that bad, just bring the PBC's table in, have them sign some gloves, some trunks, some pictures, and just sell them. Right, you can raise the money that way, and they give us the fight for free. You get commercial ads, right? Like, I don't know what. How many people do you think are going to shell forty shell forty bucks for this? I, I can't see it being a lot, especially this weekend against all the sports on TV. You just bang them out, you know, for for the the cruise fight, the Canelo. It's one after another. It's it's just beyond. It's beyond the pale at this point. Um, let me know. You guys gonna buy the fight? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know if you're gonna buy it. If you think this is worth 40 bucks, if you think watching Luis Ortiz versus Charles Martin is is, is wor well worth 40 bucks, let me know what you think. Uh, it is December 28, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.